and Tim, I will let you take control. Just before um, I introduce Tim, I can honestly tell you, Tim um, is one of the best people I could have picked to join in a business like this because he knows uh, everything um, about crypto and I can tell you uh, his knowledge on not just crypto but this uh, business as well is unbelievable. So Tim I'd like to welcome you and if you want to take over. Okay thank you Duncan. Um, yeah welcome everybody uh, that is already with us and everybody who is here for the first time. Um, as I said, my name is uh, Tim Mandeville. I've been involved now in, in crypto for about four, four and a half years, nearly five years. Um, I got involved buying Bitcoin at well under a thousand dollars. So uh, I enjoyed its meteoric rise all the way up to 20,000 and back down again. Um, during that time, uh, I had some good successes really, as, as Duncan has um, alluded to. Uh, himself, but I've also had some uh, shocking experiences uh, out there as well. And one of the things that um, you, everybody needs to be aware of, really, is some of the things that Duncan ha ha has touched on. And it, it's important that you follow certain procedures that I'm going to go through today. And and when I've run through my presentation with you guys, make some notes and go and do some due diligence. And, and, and by that, I mean, check the information that I'm uh, giving you. Okay. Hang on a second. I just need to make sure people are muted here. Where is that coming from? Daniel. Okay. So, Welcome to Cloud Token. Um, it's a place where you can store all your cryptocurrency. You will be able to exchange it as well into other currencies. And it's also a place where you can earn your cloud tokens and also spend them. Okay. So I'm going to run through the origins of our token, the benefits of the Jarvis AI trading that we do, how you can accumulate our cloud tokens quickly. Uh, and also I'm going to run through our current and future technology. Now, one of the things that is really important for you all is to, to have some rules. And the reason uh, I've discussed this on many um, presentation so I thought I'd actually put them into a slide for you. I was involved in probably the worst scam today which is BitConnect. When they shut down they took over 10 billion dollars from people. I had a team under me of about two and a half million US dollars and personal uh, wallets between me and my partner adding up to over 600,000 US so nearly a million Australian dollars. And I got involved in it purely because I could see that it made sense, but I just didn't have visibility of the main things that were important. So I then had to go on my trust, and that's where you fall down eventually. So the first and most important thing that you must do if you are going to invest today is have visibility of who the owners are. The next thing, you need visibility of the tech team, all right? You need to know who's involved in the project, what it is, etc. You need full visibility of the project offering, what it is, and how it's going to be sold and brought to market. You need um, to understand what the project actually has that's going to create mass adoption and guarantee success, because it's no, no good being a project that a you know, is gonna make umbrellas, for example, because everybody's already got them. So you need to have something unique about it that's gonna make it interesting and drive the project forward. If the investment is in crypto, then you need full visibility of funds on the blockchain. No selling into a shit coin first to then hold on a project. And that is one example of, of how people do it. They get you to put in your Bitcoin and they sell you their coin 
in exchange for your Bitcoin, yet their coin is totally worthless. And then as time goes on and more people come in, they raise the price of their coin. But then when it comes to trying to sell their coin, you can't and they've taken all the good money. That's what tends to happen. So you need to involve yourself in um, a blockchain opportunity where you can see your funds on the blockchain. And that's very, very easy to do. Um, I need to have full visibility of my funds. And then if I change my mind and want out, I can get them back out again. Okay. I need full access to remove my funds if I invest 24 seven. And also I need access to remove my returns that they're paying me daily. So I'm keeping control of everything. I know what everything is. I know where all my money is. And if I want out, I can get out. So things are looking safer the further I go on. I need to know the proven track record of everybody currently involved in that project. Okay, it's no good looking at fake LinkedIn, LinkedIn profiles and fake Facebook pages and everything else. Value added services and products um, need to be established or um, a way of showing you what the additional revenues are going to be in the future. You cannot be reliant in this day and age on being just a one trick pony, okay? If you follow all of those nine points, whilst you know, if that criteria is met, then, you know, the investment that you are going to make might, you know, it's not guaranteed to be a success, but it is certainly worth dipping your toe in. And Duncan and I are actually involved in three projects so far this year. And all three of them answer every one of those nine questions. Okay. And that's why we're still here with them and they're still working for us, okay? If you ignore all of those things, then expect something to go wrong at some point. So with that in mind, who is behind Cloud Token, all right? This chap is our CTO, all right? His name is Ronald I. He has over 25 years experience in the industry of developing mobile apps, payment gateway systems, um, he's also worked for the main um, uh, credit card uh, companies as well. He has designed multiple uh, blockchain um, things that he has patents on. And last year he won the World Blockchain Forum uh, New Innovation of the Year project for developing this system here, BitBeta system. It's fourth generation blockchain. Now, for those of you who go, well, okay, great, what's that? You need to understand something about blockchain and its limitations. Generation one is Bitcoin, okay? Came out in 2009. As a method of payment, it is completely, totally, and utterly useless, okay? It will never, ever be used for a payment method for you and I because if we had Bitcoin on our credit card and we went down to our local coffee shop to buy a coffee, we would probably have to stand there for an hour and a half or two hours for the transaction to be approved through their POS terminal, all right? Bitcoin transacts at around seven or eight seconds, is it seven or eight transactions per second? That, you can't function like that. But as a method of storage, absolutely perfect. And that's why it is paired against everything that is in the market today. So the next thing to do was try and improve that. And they did so with Ethereum coming out with their ERC-20 contracts and developing something called SegWit. SegWit is called Segregated Witness. And what it does, it takes the proof of work out of the blockchain and puts it and stores it somewhere separate so that if it's needed, to be checked on again in the future. So if Duncan and I did business and he said, well, I didn't pay you or you know, I, I didn't pay him, we could actually go back through the SegWit section of the blockchain and find it. And that way it's sort of removed rather than being part of it. And that has enabled them to increase the transactions to a whopping 10 or 11 transactions per second. So Ethereum as a payment method, again, is also completely useless. So next came out Generation 3. Generation 3 is uh, EOS uh, and Cardano, uh, XRP, Ripple, 
uh, which is uh, a, a private um, blockchain. So I, I'm not a lover of it um, because you cannot see your stuff on there. It is run by the banks, um, but it is also quite quick. Um, many thousands of transactions uh, per second. Um, but still, nowhere near what is required today. Um, if you have a Visa or a MasterCard, they transact at around 600,000 transactions per second, which is why when you pop down your shop, you swipe your card and normally within three, maybe four seconds, your transaction has been approved, you get your receipt and you get your goods, okay? So that is the sort of speed levels that you need. So what Ronald has come up with um, is to think outside the square and work the opposite way around because all three of those options so far, the more people that use it, the slower their network goes. So Ronald has decided to make something that the more people that use it, the faster it goes, which would make more sense, wouldn't it? So that's exactly what he's developed with our mobile blockchain. Every single person who puts Cloud Token onto their wallet becomes a node in the network using a miniature amount of memory on your phone to do it. But what it has enabled us to do is every thousand people that have the um, uh, Cloud Token wallet on their phone, we can transact at 22,500 transactions per second. All right. We currently have over 400,000 people in our first two months of trading now with Cloud Token on their app. So we have got somewhere around 9 million transactions per second capability at the moment. So that's phenomenal. It makes MasterCard look like a baby in nappies, okay, compared to what we can do. Now, the reason why it is so important is that our whole future is about having a mobile payment system for the world. Now, when you look at the third world and, you know, countries that aren't as advanced as us, 80% of those sort of people in those countries do not have access to banking. None of them. They don't have a bank account. They have no way of uh, money, uh, putting money in there, transacting with money or anything. But what every single poor person does have is a mobile phone. I haven't seen one poor person on the side of a street or anything that's not sat there on a mobile phone, okay? And that is where this is gonna have mass adoption, all right, Within, with all of these people being able to transact with each other very you know, quickly and easy, easily, all right? So, the project, it launched officially on the 12th of May. It was pretty much, um, it sort of had a bit of a history really from about February with some original owners. It went through to about April when it did a, a small pre-launch. I was told about it about the middle of April. Uh, I got involved on the 20th of April myself after doing my due diligence. And then we had our official launch on the 12th of May. Um, and some of our owners are here. Ronald is here and this guy is here. This guy is Jim Rogers. Uh, he is a, a multi-billionaire. Um, and these are some of his uh, accolades, um, including uh, the Quantum Fund and Soros Fund that he uh, runs. He's the creator of Rogers International Commodities as well. He does speeches around the world, all right? He also is very passionate about blockchain and he's also extremely passionate about Cloud Token and what we have to offer. He came and did a whole hour speech about what we have and blockchain at our launch. So ask yourself this, why would a massively, massively wealthy billionaire want to associate himself with a scam? Okay, he wouldn't. There is not a chance in hell that he would. Okay, so these people fully understand our opportunity and what we have and the transparency and visibility of our project. And that's what I'm going to show you guys now. So this is our ecosystem timeline. So we launched um, in May with our app, the Cloud Token Wallet, uh, and our concept of documentation, uh, documentation. In June, we um, have our Jarvis AI with Varun. Um, Jarvis is our trading bot that we use uh, on, on the exchange. Varun is another algorithm that looks uh, 
at triangular pairs. Um, unlike other people that can only uh, do their trading in pairs, we do triangular, so we can do three at a time on any exchange. That way we earn uh, uh, a lot more money. Um, we've got new uh, projects coming like HAL. There is another one as well called Friday um, that is also coming. Uh, in September, uh, we've got our uh, channel news. We've got a Friday that will be launched for our whale accounts. They will have our own private uh, use of uh, Jarvis on their uh, own exchange. Uh, we've got Cloud Token version two coming. That's extremely exciting. It may, we may even have it in August. Um, so everything that you can see and use on your Cloud Token at the moment will be totally and utterly different when we get our new one with lots of uh, uh, added uh, features in there. Uh, we've got our K, uh, Kuala Lumpur office uh, being opened and our support. Um, we currently have six offices, um, most in, in China. Uh, yes, I'm pretty sure they are all in China and the one in uh, KL. Um, and now we have our big sort of opening party of those offices planned for the beginning of September for 10,000 of our members. In November, we've got our... Um, Payment solutions are crypto to fiat solution. That's going to be a huge one uh, where you can store all your coins in on the on our app and transfer them into fiat in your new, normal uh, country, whatever country you live in, and go and withdraw those uh, funds out of your local ATM. Uh, we have our MasterCard debit cards uh, available from uh, August. Uh, KYC will be uh, coming out. I believe within about the next week um, for, the, for those people that are doing it and they're running it in rank order first. So C2 above, then C1s, then C0s. Um, and then uh, by the end of the year, all our merchant network and point of sale will be released. Uh, and ongoing global e-commerce partners, we've, they've already announced a few of them like Travelocity at the moment uh, that are on board. What is important to understand about our roadmap and where it differs to everybody else's, we already have all of this. Everything is all in place now. We're just waiting for more people to come on board to make it financially viable to, re to release those things. When you look at most ICO offerings today, they have a glorified white paper with a timeline like this saying, give us 100 million and this is our plan to develop those things. And then you have to hope that they do. And in most cases, they don't, and they've got everybody's money. We're not asking for anybody's money. We already have everything in place and everything functioning today. The only thing is missing is you, okay? So this part of our ecosystem is earning our cloud tokens, all right? This part is obviously the spending of them with the debit cards, the crypto stuff, the point of sale solutions. <clears throat> so, how does Cloud Token work for us? I thought I'd bring this uh, into a slide as well. So, I've done that over the last few days. Firstly, you, you deposit your Bitcoin or crypto coins into our super wallet. Okay. You select projects in our app and then click Jarvis and agree to the terms and conditions. You are then loaning your crypto into our Jarvis trading box. Okay. It has full transparency, as I will show you in a minute and 24-7 access to removal of your funds, okay? Our funds are being traded on 32 crypto exchanges and there are over 200 Jarvis bots. The next thing to realize, every single one of these crypto exchanges that we are on is insured, okay? So if the exchanges are hacked and the coins are lost, we get our coins back, all right? So the company is doing everything it can to ensure that the use of our coins that we loan to Jarvis are fully insured. All exchanges, oh yeah, I've already covered that. Um, Jarvis trades daily, okay? So it's trading 24 seven with all the balances of all the coins that we loan into it. And currently that's in excess of $200 million, okay? Every day, all the profit from those 200 bots on 32 exchanges get put into our reserve pool. 
And that amount is between six and $20 million a day that goes in there. And that happens every single day, all right? This is not a pay Peter by robbing Paul opportunity. We're not waiting for new people to join in order to pay those from yesterday. Okay, this is fully transparent trading that goes on with this amount that grows in volume every single day. All right, we don't need new money. If we stopped everybody coming on board today, we would function every day as we do now, making six to 20 million to look after everybody that's currently involved in the project. You will receive, for putting the coins into the Jarvis bot, between six and 12%. All right, and you get paid those in, in the cloud tokens daily, all right? The price of the tokens that you are rewarded in is derived from the amount of funds in the reserve pool, and that is then multiplied by the number of cloud tokens in existence. So if we have $50 million in our reserve pool, and there are 100 million cloud tokens currently in existence, then the price of the cloud token would be 50 cents. At the moment, the price of our cloud tokens is 46.9 cents. All right. So what that means is that every single person who wants to cash out their tokens that they receive every single day can do so at 46.9 cents. It doesn't matter if you're the first one to cash out or the last person of the 100 million people you will still get all your funds out at 46.9 cents, okay? The funds are there all the time. This fund is also going to be kept um, with a, uh, a, a lawyer, um, sort of brokerage company actually in Australia uh, in an escrow account. And the details of what is in that account will be on our uh, app, um, for us to look at. They cannot give us the, um, ex you know, the, the blockchain wallet address of that money because it would be like putting, you know, $50 million in a glass jar and telling people to come and get it because all the hackers will just DDoS attack it uh, and they will um, escape the funds. So it can't be done that way. So that's why we are um, having a, you know, a proper company uh, look after uh, all of our funds um, so that they can be accessed as they are now 24 7 and um, yeah so all about safety um, yeah and I've just covered that bit about the 46.9 cents so how have we performed more importantly so these are the prices of our token going up so the more money that's come in, the more money Jarvis plays with, the higher profits are made, the more it increases our token, okay? So over 56% increase in a little under two months, all right? You wouldn't get that in 15 years of having your money in a bank account, all right, let alone seven weeks. So you can see huge opportunity here. So transparency. Let me give you some idea of the money that we're trading with, all right? Our last 30 days on Binance, and we're about to go to VIP8, so we'll get even more discount uh, with them, was 111,500 Bitcoin. That's over a billion US dollars, okay? And we currently have in there over 9,100 uh, Bitcoin. Now, this is the important thing to look at here. The, these are the money, there are three accounts. This is the money that is holding yours and my, or the, this is the account that's holding yours and my Bitcoin. All right, so there are over 12,000, nearly 13,000 Bitcoin held on the Binance account that are yours and I. So we can get them in and out of Binance or out of our wallets 24 seven, we have full visibility. I don't know if you guys came across um, Plus Token. I used to talk about it in my presentations because it had a similar opportunity to this one. Uh, and I was offered to get involved in it at uh, about $14 in September last year. And I turned it down because 
out of the nine points that I went through with you guys at the beginning. I had no visibility of the owners. I had no visibility of the tech team. I didn't have access to my funds 24 seven and I had no visibility of them on the blockchain. So I said, stuck my middle finger up and said, I am not getting involved in that. They will take my money because they were doing their trading because they didn't have a main net. So they didn't have their own blockchain like we have. They can only do it through API keys on an exchange. So the company or plus token were the only ones with the wallet. Everybody else has what I call a ghost wallet. So it's a fake wallet that you have a login ID and password to and that approximately tells you what you've got in there, but you can't see it on the blockchain, you can't recover it, you can't do anything. Sure enough, over from the 27th of June to the early part of July, they shut it down, stop everybody taking their money out, and they run off with a little over three billion US dollars. Okay, and that's because people jumped on, saw the opportunity, but didn't do their research properly, and thought, you know what, I don't care, I'm greedy, this will work, and now they've lost all their money. All right, you have to be safe in the crypto world, otherwise you will be scammed 100% every time. They're amazingly good at it in China, and you will never get it. And if it's not the Chinese, it's the Russians, okay? So what happened was the Chinese people that are involved in cloud token got cold feet, and they jumped out, and they took the best bit of $40 million over 10 days out of cloud token. All right. But we're, as I said, to you, we're fully sustainable. Our price hasn't moved. All the money is in our funds to cover every single token that we have in existence. We have a proper functioning ecosystem that is um, transparent. You and I can see it and we can watch it as well on our phones. So nobody has any worries about somebody removing half of that. It would make no difference. If 6,000 Bitcoin got taken out, it would make no difference. The money is already there to, to pay everybody. That's why it's there for. It gets used daily. It gets removed by anybody who doesn't want to keep it in our project anymore. It's not part of somebody's scam. On our cloud token, you can look at the order history and watch one of the trading bots on Binance. In version two, you will be able to see just about all of the bots trading. Okay, Ronald has uh, designed something uh, to do that. Once you loan your money into Jarvis, you, you would have a balance like this if it's in Bitcoin, 0.1 Bitcoin. You can put your wallet address into the blockchain and you can see that you do have 0.1053191 Bitcoin on the blockchain and in Jarvis, not some fake figure here on a ghost wallet. Okay, very important. What you say you have, you have and you can see it. The next thing with this, you have access to it 24 seven. So if you go, do you know what? I'm desperately need my money now. You swipe left on the screen, you click the, you, you, you just click withdraw, you put your pin number in and 2FA and your money is off. Approximately 10 seconds. So you have access 24 seven with a 10 second removal of your funds anytime you want, okay? Um, so that's a little bit about our project, all the things that we're doing. Now I'm going to tell you about how you earn your money and the value of it and, and some of the projections um, uh, of where this is uh, heading. But obviously I have to give a disclaimer, all right, because we're not financial advisors. The ideas presented are our own experiences and mine and the how to profit in this business. All right, I'm not giving anybody financial advice. I'm not a financial investment company and I can make no reputations or guarantees of any income I'm gonna show you. We never recommend to outlay money you can't afford to lose. Don't rush into anything, okay? Do your own research. I've given a lot of information out today for those new people. Hopefully you've made some notes and you can go and look at it. What I mean by research is, don't go on to Google and write, is cloud token a scam? And then all these YouTubers will be there and you can click on one of them and listen to it. And he'll be extremely happy because he's just earned $2.50 from you clicking on his link that you're going to listen to all the reasons why he thinks it's a scam. 
okay? I've given you all the information on everything about our company, who's involved, what's involved, and how it all works. You need to now go and check on all of that information. You know, if you come back to me and say, wrong guy doesn't exist and he's not part of the company, then my head might pop up and I might listen. But I know that that's not right. <laughs> As with any business though, your results are gonna vary. All right, and will be based on your individual capacity, business experience, expertise, and the level of desire to succeed in this project. Okay, there are no guarantees concerning the level of success you may experience. Everyone's success depends on their dedication, desire, and motivation. Okay, so how would you individually benefit as a single person not sharing this to anyone? All right, because that's what you can do, you can succeed in this, you don't have to buy lots of things and sell lots of things, you just need to hold your coins on our wallet, okay? So you deposit that into your account, you will receive between six and 12% monthly in our cloud token. Uh, you can withdraw or cancel at any time, 24 seven. So let's just say, for example, you put in 1000 USD of Bitcoin into your cloud token wallet, and it averages 10% a month. So you would roughly receive $100 back for your $1,000 each and every month until the cows come home. All right. And that is paid to you daily at $3.33 in Cloud Token. All right. So currently at $3.33, our um, bot is uh, paying our Cloud tokens out at 46.9, so let's call it 47 cents. You are gonna receive roughly six cloud tokens a day. Every single day when you wake up, they'll be there in your phone. You can then transfer those cloud tokens into uh, Ethereum there and then and take it straight off of the uh, site if you want to do so. Now, for those of you who want to share this opportunity with others there's a rewards program and when a company comes to market it has three options when it comes to market the first option if it wants to have mass global adoption in every single country is to spend tens of millions of dollars on a very high-end and expensive marketing campaign with a well-established marketing company that's option one Option two, it can come to the market using multi-level marketing technique. Okay, so it could say, you join Cloud Token, it's $500. Uh, each month you pay us $60, and um, each uh, you know, level that you go up, um, you'll, you, know, you pay more money to us and receive more money. And they pay commissions each month from those money to your downline. That's one way they could perhaps do it. The other way is the way that they have chosen to do it, which is through affiliate marketing, where instead of doing any one of those things, they're using you and I to look at the project and go, this is fantastic, I want to be part of it, and I want to go and share this and tell my friends about it. And when we do that, they're gonna reward us, okay? So, here I am. I fund my wallet with 500 US dollars. That's the minimum you have to have in your wallet if you are going to run the, the sharing program, okay? We advise people to put around 600, 650 US dollars in as a minimum to allow the fluctuation in Bitcoin. Because trust me, you don't want to have the team build up with 500,000 or a million dollars underneath you and suddenly your account drops to $499 and you will receive zero for that day until you get your account back over the $500, okay? Very important you keep tabs on that bit. So you pop next door and you see your mate John, tell him all about Cloud Token, he said, yeah, I'm in, 500 bucks, okay? The company will then match his 500 with you. So let's say he's receiving um, five Cloud Tokens a day the company will also give you five cloud tokens a day, all right? John is excited about it. He pops next door and sees Sally. And Sally goes, yeah, I'm in. 
So on the second level, Sally's gonna re she'll receive uh, her tokens, her five every day. John above will get five for that, and me above that, I will get two and a half. I get fifty percent. But in order for me to get Sally's fifty percent, I have to have two active people on my front line. Okay. If I want to unlock my third line, I will need three, and so on. Now the company pay us all the way down to 21 levels. Okay, you get 5% all the way down. So if I wanted all 21 levels to be paid at 5%, I need to have personally introduced to this program 21 people. And I have more than done that. Okay, as has Duncan. All right, it's very easy just to share this with people. No one is having to buy or do anything. You are literally just storing $500 worth in an account that you can take out at any time. You're not having to buy a product, never get that money back, having to sell it to other people, nothing. It's just a storage facility that you are getting rewarded for sharing to other people. Okay, it's very clever. So, let's look at some of the financial benefits of sharing, okay? Let's say that three people come in on your front line. They deposit 1,000, 10,000, and 500, okay? So you will receive 100, $1,050, okay, on your level one. Your level two, three people come in and they deposit 1,000, 500, and 2,000. So you would receive 100, 25, and 50. So that's $1,325 every single month coming in from these people, all right? So if nobody else ever came in, this would still function every single month because all of these deposits are being used every single day to produce money through the arbitrage trading, put into the lending pool and pay us, okay? It's fully sustainable. So that would, basically net you that 1300 at 43.8 cents which is what we were last week uh a little over 3025 cloud tokens okay and then for any other levels that you go down you get to all the way five percent on those now this is where it gets exciting you start getting rewarded for reaching different ranks okay so C1, of which I am C1, you have to have a team under you of 200,000, okay? And for that, on my front line here, I get paid an extra 5%, so I see 105% here. My second line, I see 55%, but my third line down to 21, my business has now doubled, because I've gone from 5% to getting 10, okay? When I get to C2, in order to get that, I need to have three C1s in my team. And I have three people I'm working with at the moment, in fact four, two of which are very close to becoming C1. So when I get three C1s in my leg, I will then become a C2, you get extra 10%, then 15 and so on, all right? Financially, let me tell you, as a C1, I am earning a little over 600 US dollars every single morning that I wake up. Here in Australia, that's 900 bucks a day. Okay, I, that's before I do anything, all right? By the time I get to C2, I will probably be earning around two, two and a half thousand a day. All right, and when I get to C2, I would have about a million dollars underneath me within my team that's generating that income. To get to a C3, I need three C2s. Well, as a C2, um, you will earn between two, two and a half thousand a day up to about 7,000 a day, all right? As a C3, our, our, our team leader, our personal, my upline, Luigi, has just hit C3. He receives 20,000 cloud tokens a day. So he's on 10 grand US a day, every single morning that he wakes up, all right? There's some serious money to be made in this organization and it's fully sustainable. Luigi is not reliant on 
having 500 new people join overnight to make sure he gets his money. As I said, all our money is there. The C4s, big money. 20 to 50,000 a day, C5s, we've got well over 100,000 a day, every single morning, you know, and it's, it's yeah, very exciting. Life-changing amounts of money that everybody can have fully sustainable, okay? Why should you join us? Well, hopefully you can see a lot of those reasons for what I've just gone through with you today. But just to reiterate, you have nothing to buy when you involve yourself in Cloud Token. You don't have any membership fees. There are no monthly auto ships for products to buy. There's no contract. You can take your money out whenever you want and you take your rewards out whenever you want. You earn passively without sponsoring. This is huge for a lot of people. I shouldn't think there is one person on this call that has not tried network marketing at some point in their life and realize that you can only approach your friends and the same amount of people enough times, okay? And some people, they just fried with it and they just want to be able to earn their own thing with their own money. And you can do that. You can deposit your one Bitcoin into Jarvis and receive 10% a month for doing so in your cloud tokens and you win without having to share anything with anyone. We generate our revenues from all our arbitrage at the moment. As you know, we have other projects coming on board. We have our holidays, we have the credit cards and uh, the point of sale stuff. All additional revenues coming in to help increase our money. And our token has the potential to go up at least 10 times or more in the next 12 months. So let me give you some examples of that. Let's say over the next year, you accrue over 25,000 cloud tokens. Okay, I have well over that amount now just in the first seven weeks through sharing. All right, it doesn't take long to uh, uh, accumulate the tokens from other people. We launched at 30 cents. All right, let's say we go to 10 bucks. Those 25,000 tokens are now worth quarter of a million US dollars to you. All right, good amount of money. Let's say we go to 20. You've now got half a million US dollars. So unknown future growth. I always like these sort of pie in the sky figures, but I don't really view them as a pie in the sky. My next aim, I want my 200,000 cloud tokens. I'm well over a third of the way to that now. And as I said, some people are earning 100,000 cloud tokens a day. So the further up you go, the more you start receiving. At 10 bucks, it's 2 million. Okay, huge amounts of money. So that concludes our presentation on, on our token. Uh, I want to thank you all for looking. Um, please obviously go back to the person that introduced you and ask how to get started and how to load the, the wallet onto your uh, phone. Um, if you've got any questions, I am more than happy to answer them on here. And if I can't answer them, I will get you some responses to it. Can I kick off with one question, Tim? It's actually come yep. from uh, Nina asked this today, and I'm, I'm not sure myself, actually. Um, you know, with regards to the um, uh, recruiting side of it, the minimum you need in your account is 500. Yeah. Um, if somebody introduces somebody that starts with less, does that person yeah. count towards their qualification to earn down the levels? So in other words, you, uh, you, you don't receive any money. You, you receive uh, no tokens from that person because they are under the 500 US dollars. But my understanding is they make part of your volume total, but that's it. They don't make any tokens for you. No, I understand that. But does it, does it count towards the um, fact that you introduce one, you earn down level one, you introduce two, you earn down level two? Um, my understanding is that when an account is funded, it is then active. Okay. So there are no amounts that have to be in there. So if I introduce 10 people at under $500, I would receive no money from any of them, but I have 10 active members on my front line. 
Okay, so if you did have somebody as an example that came in on the level 11, you would earn off that person? If you would, but if that's the only, well, no, not if they're under the $500 level. No, but if you had, let's yes, you would earn, uh, correct. If somebody else joined in, yeah, um, under that person with a thousand bucks, you will earn from that because you've got 11 people. Okay, yeah. Great. Active. It has, it has to have a financial figure to be active, but yeah. you won't receive anything on it unless it's over 500 US dollars. Okay. There we are, Nina. There's your answer. Yes. Thank you, Tim. That's what I wanted to know. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Okay. If anybody else has any questions, you, if you don't want to open up your mic or you're too embarrassed, you can type the question into the chat which is at the bottom of your screen or just open your mic and fire away. So I've got a couple of questions. This is Scott here. Hey, thanks Tim for the- Scott, can you just turn your volume up? It's quite quiet. Oh, don't know why. It's so loud, I turned it down. I turned... Okay, let's see how that works. Is that better? That's a little bit better, yeah. Well, let me turn this part up. Maybe this will be better. Is that working? Or maybe just hold the mic like this over your mouth. Okay, well, anyway, um, thanks again for the presentation. A um, couple things. One is uh, Laurel got in today. I got in last night, and her deposit still has not hit. I'm looking at it right now. I should be able to see that in my, you know, wall of back office or whatever you call it here. Um, is it just showing zero? Correct. Uh, on her on her uh, app you need to open it and click on did she deposit bitcoin or ethereum what did she put in bitcoin okay so you need to open her uh, wallet up click on bitcoin in the super wallet and it will show the transaction history and you need to see if it appears there it can take up to 24 hours so okay it I depends how far it take that long so laurel's on the call too so she's traveling so she can look at that but it's not, it should, typically anybody that's in my organization should, as long as I click on my partners, it should show all of those transactions and the volume at that point. Is yeah, it, it, yeah, what it shows you is uh, the amount that they've invested. It doesn't show you any transaction. Right. And in order for that volume to be there, it would have had to have landed in the super wallet and they must have also deposited it into Jarvis. It's no good them just sending it straight into their wallet and leaving it there because then it's not being used by Jarvis. So it's very important that they click projects, click Jarvis, agree to the terms and conditions, and then loan their Bitcoin. It sounds to me as though she might not have done that bit. So if, if she opens her wallet on the very front page, the super wallet, if she scrolls down and the Bitcoin is showing in there, so there she is. Hi, this is Laurel. Hi. Um, let me just, I just, hi, everybody. I'm very excited. Um, I just checked and it's still zero in the wallet. So if it's zero in the wallet, I don't have to do the Jarvis thing until I can at least okay. see there's something in you, the wallet, right? Yeah. Can you just press the wallet and see if there, it, it, it puts up a transaction. Can you just see if there's something there? Okie dokie. Let me go look. And I'm looking in my Bitcoin wallet transaction history. Oh, it's kind of, it says there's no transaction. I didn't hear that. She says there's no transaction. No uh, transaction history. Okay, well then it's not on the wallet yet. Like when did you make the payment? Like last night or something? No, it was actually like six hours ago. And when Scott did it yesterday, it was only took two yeah. hours. Yeah, but it can take up to 24. So, that okay. it's not, and in, in the times that we've known, it can sometimes take up to 48. It really did. What you need to understand is you are dealing with Bitcoin at seven transactions per second, moving on to fourth generation blockchain that we have. Okay. And at the moment, Bitcoin is massively volatile. We went up to 13,400. And over the last two hours, we have dumped straight back down to 11,000 something. So there is huge transactional history going on with Bitcoin at the moment. 
we're, we're trading. So the miners are being picky and they are taking people that have done their transactions, paying higher fees rather than ordinary fees. And they just get left on the blockchain until they need those and then they process them. So you'll just have to be patient. Like if I will be pretty certain that they will be there 24 hours from now. I would be very surprised if they're not. Well, Scott got lucky. Yeah, yeah. So just keep us posted. If they're not uh, on there in a day, then um, just reach out to us and we'll uh, have a quick check. Is, did I read somewhere where there is uh, the possibility where you could use the bot yourself to trade your own coin is that Correct. Where the two to three million or the three to five million whatever the number was yeah now? it's friday volume scott okay friday. The, the, can't hear you can't hear you scott we, we we have a new in the new app there will be a, a project called friday and it's for the whales so you need in excess of $3 million to qualify for that. Okay. And it's for accounts between three and $5 million. It will be on a 2080 basis. So Jarvis will trade with your API keys of the, of your coins on the exchange and you will receive uh, 80% and the other 20% goes into the company. And how that works is they pre-charge you in Bitcoin for uh, the use of it each month. So the company gets their Bitcoins off of you to start with, and that goes straight into our reserve pool. And then it trades, and then any plus or minuses. So that's happening to remove the whales out of the system uh, that we currently have, because it, it's, it's just better to function with our ecosystem with a massive account, separate to all of our smaller ones, because otherwise they can just be taking out the monies continually themselves and it makes it very hard for the ecosystem to function. So there's a lot of changes going on. Um, all of the wallets will have um, blocks of 500 on them. So at the moment you loan your whole amount, like I have 2.1 Bitcoin in my Jarvis account. It means that I can, if I want out, I can actually take them out in blocks of 500 rather than having to remove the whole Bitcoin. Um, so all of that is coming as well in the new um, project. There are also limits now on the account. You cannot deposit more than $50,000 worth of, of any one particular currency. So there are currently seven that you can put into um, Cloud Token. So that means your account at the moment can be $350,000 but it has to be 50,000 of each for tokens. Gotcha. Anything over that has got to, you'd, you'd have to set up another account and I'm sure there are people doing that. And those people that have the big amounts of money, they're better off using Jarvis anyway because they will earn way more money than being paid in tokens. Right, right. So is, did I understand it right? I, I guess I saw a video. The way to withdraw right now is to, switch your tokens into ethereum correct and withdraw the ethereum out to your wallet and then do it <coughs> at that point yes exactly that and that that's, that's you can do that in, in a minute okay that's the only way to do it but the card debit card is going to be coming when again uh in the next week or two weeks maximum you there will be a section on our thing enabling you to apply your kyc uh, and then uh, at some point in August, the debit cards will be released, but they're going to release them only to C2 level and above first because uh, the credit cards have a cost A to produce and B to transact with. So at the moment, they need to make sure that the cost is sustainable by the higher end people in the organization, then they're going to drop it down to my level to C1s and then maybe C0s because a C0, you know, most people don't have a thousand cloud tokens in their wallet, which is a hundred dollars. So the debit card will also be pre funded in US dollar. 
So dependent on the amount of tokens that you have will determine how many of those tokens you give up for the prepayment on the debit card. So it's important, you know, at, at the lower end, a hundred dollars worth, you know, that is probably already cost that to the company. You know, Mar Mastercard and Bitcoin, Bitcoin don't have a, a good history, and it's cost the company millions to get that agreement uh, in place. So um, who they have to make sure that it. Who funded this, and how long has uh, Ronald been at it to to build this? Um. He's been uh, working on BitBeta for over a year on, on the mobile uh, thing. And they launched, basically, they had about 150 uh, original investors into it. Um, and then they now have uh, eight main owners that are there. And Ronald is obviously one of them. Um, so... When they launched in March, they didn't even have uh, the first app running. Gotcha. So all of the, all, you know, we are in such early stages that those people that got in in April, like myself and May, like we, we, we had maintenance for three or four or five days at a time while they were doing all the necessary upgrades. We've just gone through a very large one because on the 14th, we, everybody will be receiving their private keys. So they've just had to do all of the um, uh, wallet uh, changes to put the new wallets in, um, which is no mean feat because you have to remove everybody's funds to a secure location, remove all the old wallets, put all the new wallets in and then transfer all the funds back in and then sync to all the nodes. Like it's a, it took five days. So it was a testing time. So that's going to happen on the 14th of July. So it's this weekend then. Yeah, like this weekend, yeah, or Monday. And we'll be able to hold our own private keys, and that is going to be Correct. really, really nice. I'm very happy about that. Can you just explain, yeah. Tim, to people that don't understand what private keys are? Sure, yeah. Um, a private key is, uh, is a seed for you to be able to... Um, reboot or reclaim your token, your Bitcoins. Bit wallets and all of those things don't really actually exist. They're just a contract written into the blockchain. There are no physical coins. So if I have two Bitcoin, it, it's like there's a contract on block 876925 that shows my two Bitcoin coming into existence. And I have the key or the private key to that element in my own private section uh, of the blockchain that I can then recover those, you know, I can go to blockchain.io and trace my Bitcoin and, and recover them. At the moment, when you log in, you have a username and a, a password, you're actually logging into um, like an account that is run by the company if that makes sense, rather than logging into your own wallet that the company don't have details of. That's the change. That's what, that's, that's what the private key is. So you always have a public key address, which is the address like, you know, if I said to you, Scott, um, or you said to me, oh, can I send you a hundred bucks? I say, sure, give me your uh, receive address. That's your public address. That's the address you give out to everybody that wants to send you Bitcoin. And then you have a private address, which is a separate number, a separate wallet address that links your bank account into the original contract in the blockchain. And you have a recovery seed process, normally 18 or 24 words or something like that, that you can use to recover that should you ever lose it. Okay. So they, it, they're your funds. Yeah. It's going to be very, very... Uh... Very, very good and uh, make people feel a lot safer uh, because I've been scammed just like you have. So I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm very scared. Look, it's, what, what you need to understand is there are two wallets in Cloud Token. You have the super wallet where you first put your money in and you'll have the private keys for those. Okay. What you don't have is the private keys when you put them into Jarvis. Jarvis is trading with all of our funds. So you agree with the terms and conditions. You move your funds into that wallet and it trades with them. But what you have is the full visibility of all of those accounts. 
you have access to those funds 24 seven and you can remove it instantaneously whenever you want. So they can't make it any more transparent and Ronald posts those accounts permanently, like every day he, he posts the account details. Uh, also as a security element, they cannot withdraw more than 500 Bitcoin in the 24 hour period. And as we have access to the accounts in Binance and we know where they are, you'd soon know, like if they're trying to out 110,000 Bitcoin, you'd know about it. <laughs> yeah. So, but you know, you either have to believe the man and, and the project that we've got and the transparency and the proactiveness from day one, or you don't. It, it, it's really that simple. And I've never, ever been involved in anything where there's been so much information and so much visibility about everything, money aspect, everything that we are doing before. Not ever. Yeah, I would agree with you. Over the yeah. last two years that I've been involved in, it's uh, yeah. definitely the transparency here is awesome. I love it. Yeah. Um, let me yeah. ask you one last question and I'll let everybody else chime in. What the, the terminology that I've heard uh, used is the more people that use this system, the faster it's going to work. Yeah. Explain how that could be, could work. <clears throat> okay. So when you put the wallet on the phone here, what Ronald has developed is um, the ability for the wallet to actually act as a node on the network. So you yourself are a little node, okay? And it uses a very small amount of the memory on your phone to become a node, all right? So the more nodes on the network, the faster it, it, it is able to transact between all of those people. So every thousand people enables us to, those thousand people to transact at 22 and a half thousand transactions per second. There's a video on the Facebook page where you can go to videos and just click and, uh, and watch it in action because they have it all there on the screens and you can actually watch how this works with somebody buying sugar, selling it, and, and, and then they do simulators so that you can see how that works. And now we have over 400,000 people. We can transact very, very quickly because we can transfer our stuff to each other as well as convert. So you have a transfer button on your CTO and you use your 16 digit number and then your Google Authenticator to transfer tokens to other people as well. So it's peer to peer. That's the whole idea of it. And then you have your card as well where you can use those in the shop um for your well there are two cards you've got the debit card and then you've got the uh, other company card and the company card is paired into your phone you just scan it behind the, the photo thing and it links into your phone becomes uh, your account and then you can go and spend your ctos in any outlet that are accepting ctos as payment and that's all coming uh, as well and you said how many transactions per second can our system handle? Uh, 22,500 per thousand people. 22,500 per thousand people. Yeah, and we, we've got 400,000. So it's like 9 million transactions per second Wow. at the moment. And it just grows and grows and grows from that. You need to have a look on the have a look on uh, and see how the whole thing works. But if you're a techie person, the best thing to do, that's my knowledge as far as, you know, from what I've learned, if you need more in-depth conversation, uh, reach out to Ronald yourself and, and ask him. Did I read somewhere that the total amount of the accounts like on Binance, for example, are gonna be shown up on our app eventually? So they are. So you won't have to be posting them? Okay, that's cool. Yeah. The lending, all of that will come in our version two. So yeah, everybody will be aware of exactly how much money is in the lending pool at any time. And we will also see what all of the trading bots are doing. At the moment, we only get visibility of one of the trading bots that shows the, the trades that it's doing. That's- uh, on, on the, Sorry, Tim, go ahead. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I was just going to say, I know Scott doesn't use Facebook. Um, I believe there's a Telegram group, is there? 
I think there is, yeah, Telegram, do, yeah. Do you, do you know how to get onto that? I, d I don't think I'm on it and I don't know how to get on it. I think there's I don't use. I don't use Telegram, so I'm not on it. There's Are you on it, Nina? No, I'm not on it. No, I've been trying to get the um, the link for our own little group. There's lots of different Telegram groups for different um, uh, people. Yeah. So I'm just trying to get the one for us. So well, I'll... When I find it, Scott, I'll send it to you. And I'll also send you that video that Tim's talking about where he actually... actually showed... I already saw it. I, I saw the video today. Okay, I, okay. I found it somewhere, I don't know. And I did find the Telegram groups too. So okay. um, I may you know, have to uh, re-engage with Facebook again. I don't want to do that. Um, what <laughs> be the benefits? Well, I mean, I deleted the account because I'm so pissed off at the security breaches and the privacy, you know, invasions and all that. So I don't really want to re-engage with them. But what would what's on Facebook that's so wonderful? Well, you're just keeping in touch with what's going on daily and seeing um, posts that various people are posting. Um, it, it is it is worth, um, I don't know who that is. Is that you, Tim? Are you having your tea? Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, I'll go on mute. <laughs> is, oh, no, that's your breakfast, is it? <laughs> um yeah, it, it just, um, it's, it's well worth getting on if you can, Scott. I mean, whether or not you use Facebook, but just maybe you just use it for this. Don't yeah, Scott, this is Sherm. I, I agree with you. <laughs> yeah, Efforts right. to okay. And as Duncan knows, I pick up the phone and call him. <laughs> right. What about uh, marketing? Is there any marketing systems? Is that what you sent me today, Duncan? The the marketing capture page that you have? Well, there are various uh, marketing systems. I know Justin does one himself. That one I've sent you is a friend of mine that set that up and uh, we can actually pass that exact what I've sent you. You can have that and you can actually attach that to any business. So if you do any other businesses, yeah. Um, it's not just this. You can add any business to that. I didn't see where I could actually sign up for that service. You said that was like 30 bucks a month or something? Yeah, um, I, I can send you a link for that if you're interested, Scott. Yeah, I am. Yeah, okay. Sherman, did you, uh, did you want to ask another question? Are you okay? No, I'm, I'm fine. Mark. Yeah. Mark has a question. Go ahead, Mark. Tim, so can you hear me? Yes, yeah, can. I can. Okay, so um, say I'm interested in getting involved in this. Uh, I'm not interested in getting a downline. I want to put money in. So your initial yeah. investment has to be through Bitcoin, or can I put in cold hard cash, or can I buy your tokens? You can't. No, you you can't buy you can't, the, uh, tokens. You can't buy cloud tokens. You can uh, you can only invest in it in cryptocurrency. So you would have to buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Doge, whatever coin you want to put in there. You have to buy them first and, and then put them into the wallet. And is there any recommendation of one unit over the other? Um, not really. I mean, you can put them in an Ethereum or Bitcoin. I have three in mind, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Okay, so I want to put in $5,000 worth of whatever. So I, I buy $5,000 worth of, should I got, of diversify of, of the Bitcoin, or should I split that three ways to all three mediums? Uh, what's the advantage or disadvantage? Well, I guess with the smaller coins, you know, if they go up, quicker they could double in their value so that's more money in there but then bitcoin's on a bit pretty much a uh, bit of a charge i think we're going to see over twenty thousand in the next month so you know it's, it's bitcoin only yeah okay the old coins get smashed too too much when bitcoin has a little cough or a retrace the the old coins can drop 10 15 20 percent in a blink so okay so is there a positive? So I put five thousand in. I buy. I don't know what the what the what the market rate. Just just as an arbitrary number, I buy five Bitcoin, and it drops in value from what it is that I purchased. In your system, 
do you maintain its value or can you have no. the potential of losing you get paid at, you get paid at the the current live value 24 7. okay and if it drops below what it was that you purchased it before it doesn't matter slightly you're, you're, you, you bought you bought your bitcoin you you're just holding it in the wallet it doesn't matter what its value is you're being paid on its value at live price okay thank you okay okay anybody else got any questions um uh judy yes i i this this is recorded as soon as this webinar is finished i will download it and i will be sending out to everybody great um great great webinar a uh, great presentation tim i like the uh, the changes very very good brilliant tim thank you good yeah. that's okay it's very yeah. good thank you thanks duncan you're welcome okay we'll see you guys uh, some of you uh tonight and yeah. if not those of you um on sunday or monday yeah, depending just, on where you are just, in the world <laughs> just, to make, just to make it clear yes. for everybody uh, we will be running every week, um, obviously, a Wednesday night, 10 p.m. tonight. In the morning, uh, 10 a.m. UK time. And then on Sunday, we have two calls, 10 a.m. UK time and 10 p.m. Uh, UK time. Um, so that allows anybody in the States, anybody in Australia or the UK or any other country to... Uh, at least get a chance to uh, come onto a live call. Duncan, would you please put the latest of that in the email you're going to send out? Because that's not the latest that I heard. I thought there weren't any on Sunday at all. Uh, yes, there's always been on Sunday. We we have two on a Sunday, ten a.m. Okay. Six p.m. Yeah, but I I, My... will, I will put that so it's clear on the uh, next email that goes out. And I look forward to seeing y'all on Facebook. I don't know what is the name of the Facebook group. Uh, there's two. Um, just oh. bear with me a second. Okay. Duncan, I've got to. I've got to fly. Okay. So. Thanks, Tim. See all you guys on the on the call later. Thank Good day. You. Thanks, Tim. <clears throat> okay. See you early in the morning. <laughs> Okay, the, the, the general uh, group for everybody, in other words, people looking at it, is Cloud Token Power Team. And then for paid members, there is uh, another group, which is, um, just bear with me a second, I forgot the name of it. It's the CT Power Team Mastermind. <coughs> So you can add add anybody to the first one. Cloud. Sorry, cloud. What? The the first one is uh, well the, the paid members is CT Power Team Mastermind, and the uh, group. Okay, we'll can... just look. I'll get that from Nina. Okay, I, I the best thing to do is to always whoever your sponsor is is get them to add you to that group or both groups if you're a paid member. I've done it already, That's Laurel. I've, I've invited you on the um, Cloud Token Power Team, but not not on the other one yet. But I will do. I'll send you the invite. And where did you send that invite from Messenger? Through Messenger? Uh, I think an email today. I'll send it again. Okay, thank you. Okay. I'll just go check out, I can tell you. Thank you. Yep, got it. Oh wait, no. Okay guys, now just, just to remind everybody as well, Luigi and Justin uh, hold uh, webinars every night, every day, um, apart from Sunday. Um, so there is always, especially for you guys in America, there's always uh, a call to jump in on. Um, Obviously, we're doing these calls for our, our group particularly. Um, so take advantage of them. Um, if, I, if you receive an email from me, I would make sure you send it out to your team. Otherwise, some of your team are not going to get that email because I haven't got everybody's email address unless they ask me. <coughs> okay. Um, 
let's wrap up for the night unless anybody else has got any questions. Thanks very much for go on there, Scott. Did you? Yeah, one more. Is that PowerPoint available for us to use? Uh, yes, I can get that sent to you. Actually, that's a new one. I'm not sure whether I've even got a copy of it. I'll check. Yeah, I like that one. I like that uh, with the extra slides yeah. you put in there. Very yeah. good. I, I will get that sent out to you, Scott, probably by... Um, Oh, well, I can send, I, I might be able to send it by email. If not, I'll use WeTransfer. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks, Duncan. Appreciate okay, it. Guys. Yeah, Happy thanks, Duncan. Good call. Yeah, thanks, thanks, guys. Good night, all. Good night, everybody. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Hopefully, Bye. we'll see, see some of you in the morning at 10 a.m. Thanks a lot. That's, a, that's 5 a.m. Hi, everybody. Yeah, yeah. I, hope, I hope you're up, Sherm, on that call. I'll see you bright early. <laughs> okay, okay, guys, thanks. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Now.